Hello there friends, here comes another video with the latest rumors and reshuffles. Finally, even the teams themselves has provided us with some official content. There have been plenty of official announcements, sudden changes, tears and disappointments, happiness and luck. This entire cocktail has mixed together and now the professional scene will never be the same again. Official replacements in Vitality, Team Liquid, Complexity, I have a lot to tell you about. So, let's get straight to it. The biggest news of yesterday came unexpectedly not from Navi, but from Astralis. Although in reality there were many major news stories yesterday. So all the rumors have been confirmed. Glaive has indeed been benched and replaced by Stare, but that's not all. The Danes surprisingly signed Borop as well. Lately he has been playing for Copenhagen Flames and hasn't exactly shined on the pro scene. However, the management decided to sign this duo. Altex has returned to the academy and it seems that Zepnix's time has finally come to an end. He has. Been been removed even from the academy and benched. Here's what Device has to say about it. A lot of changes this postseason for us. Casper and Lucas are two people I will always remember for our incredible journey together. Through ups and downs we managed to create something unique and they were both a big part of that. It's a little disappointing for Glaive. He has dedicated over seven years to the organization, brought four majors, but it seems that his time has come to an end. Here's what he has to say about it. I'm taking a seat on the bench. With Astralis I've created lifelong memories and I'll forever cherish that. I'll continue to support from the sideline. Thanks to all supporters for standing by me and the team through the years. Just know I'm excited for what the future holds. Wait, what? Is Glaive hinting at something? Could it be that he will join Navi as the captain? It seems like the summer transfer saga is far from over. But the question that everyone is concerned about is where did Borup come from? We haven't really heard anything about this guy in the past year, right? I haven't. Astralis seems to have a fetish for signing not so obvious options, although Kerrigan says that it's an excellent transfer. Borup is key, he's a good stable role player, and I think he has gone under the radar after Heroic. Well, this is how the new Astralis lineup looks now. What do you think? Can they become new champions? Only Device remains from the Golden Five, and BlameF now is the captain. If only they had config here, there wouldn't be any questions. Or <clears throat> another crucial player. We'll speak about this a little later. Once again, all the rumors have been confirmed. Vitality Vitality made roster changes just 32 days after their major victory. We've seen this somewhere before, right? Virtus Pro, yeah, and it didn't quite work for them. Vitality decided to try it as well and removed Dupree from their lineup, with Flames expectedly joining in his place. A couple of hours before the announcement, OG revealed that their Israeli genius is leaving the team. And now Vitality have a new decent duo, Spinks and Flames. Yes, on paper, recently, they have gained aim, but what about winning spirit? It. What about experience and championship mentality? Dupree is probably the most experienced player in the entire pro scene and importantly one of the most consistent in history. Everyone thought that he decided to take a break from CS on his own, but it turns out that this is not the case at all. My fifth major one with Vitality was special, thanks. I don't feel we had come to the end of the road with the current team, but I respect Vitality's decision and wish them the best. I still feel I'm on the top of my game and will spend my time figuring out what's up next. Would love to win my 6th major in my hometown next year, but winning a major is not easy. I would need to find a team and an organization who will share my ambition, professionalism and willingness to sacrifice to achieve a common goal. When the time is right, I'll shed the light on the whole situation. Thanks for your awesome and continuous support, and to clarify, to clear up some speculations, I didn't have any intentions of retiring. Wow, so Dupree wasn't planning to leave after all. I think this is not the most obvious decision. They just won the major, reached the finals of the blast and now they're making changes. Here's what Zonic has to say about it. It is with my heart I say goodbye to him after seven and a half years and five majors today. One of the toughest decisions I had to make in my professional career. I will forever cherish our friendship and I wish him nothing but the best. Magisk also bid farewell to his friend. Another chapter ends. I'm extremely grateful to have met and played alongside you for such a long time, Dupree. You will always hold a special place in my heart. Thank you for all the unforgettable memories. Wish you nothing but the best. Spinks has also said some kind words to Dupree. Well, the owner of Vitality decided to clarify the situation a little. I'm not going to lie to anyone, emotionally it has shaken me and it's unfair, but I'm convinced that this is the best sporting decision for the new cycle. And now let's give some love to Dupree. He's a true legend and a great guy. Now it's really clear, Vitality had the opportunity to sign Flames. Yes, he's a very skilled player, consistent, dangerous and young, plus he should have good connection with Spinks. There was 
was also high demand for him, so Vitality had to act quickly and decisively. Either they sign him and remove Dupree, hoping that the roster will perform even better, or they stick with their championship winning lineup. And as we can see from what Vitality's owner says, he's calmly taking risks. When no one believed in an international lineup, he took the chance, even though the French roster was reaching finals at the time. Now he's taking another gamble, and only the new season will show whether he was right or not. It's a little heartbreaking for Dupree, but that's sports, competition is always there. And the most fascinating moment is that we're seeing a very intriguing Danish trio shaping up. Three players from the Golden Astralis lineup are currently without a team – Glaive, Dupree and Zepnix. And against this thought, Nell logically suggests that TSM should build their own Danish team. Like, they have Aztec, potentially Nikodos, Farlik, Valde and Kyabi. The list is quite extensive. When, if not now, should they assemble another Danish lineup? And as Snappy says, Dupree plays the most difficult and thankless roles, yet he has astonishing statistics. So he has all the cards in his sleeve to join any top tier team. Why not, for example, return to Astralis, or perhaps join a team like Ants, since Snappy respects him so much? Overall, it seems that this is far from the end of all the reshuffling. And even in this video I have plenty more news for you. For instance, Spirit has officially announced the departure of three players – Potsy, Siren and Wonderful. We've known this for a while, but until now it was just rumors, now it's confirmed and official. And just as this news came out, within a couple of hours there were rumors circulating about Liquid. Firstly, they've announced that they've signed Rain Waker. I'm still shocked that they chose him out of all the candidates, but well, there must be some hidden potential there. Secondly, the Patsy transfer has finally been completed. They reached an agreement and the deal is officially done. This is the liquid lineup that awaits us in the new season. Massive changes and we'll see where they lead them. It turns out that they can no longer compete in America. They only have two players from the region. Though people say there's a clever trick. You can include coach Dabs in the roster claiming that he's the fifth player and you have three players from North America to compete in your region again. Then before the start you announce that he's sick and he will be replaced by Patsy, for example. Such loopholes have been used before, but I think they should close this one. Now let's hear what Patsy has to say about this transfer. My new chapter begins with joining Team Liquid. I'm really excited to play with this team to be a part of an org that has so much history and achievements. I'm more than ready for the challenges we'll face, and I hope all my fans will understand this decision and continue to cheer for me in my new team. I would also like to say a few words to the fans of Team Liquid. I know I'm new to the team and taking the place of a, such a strong player, but I'll do my best to prove you that I deserve to be here. Thank you for reading this, we'll make you all proud of us. So who did he replace? Once again all the rumors have been confirmed, Elige is leaving the organization after a whooping 8 years. It's hard to believe that he's finally leaving the team after being with them for so long. And by the way, Liquid has already received some hate because they didn't even prepare a farewell video or anything, it was just a simple thank you and good luck. Dude, he's a legend of the club and that's all they do? Of course, Elige didn't stay without offers for long. There were rumors that EG would sign him, that he turned down complexity for $100,000, but all of that was just speculation. Now it's official, Elige is joining complexity, where he replaces Fang. They've already released a video announcement and Elige looks quite satisfied. It's definitely a top tier addition for them, but whether this lineup will succeed is a big question. Although there might be more roster changes in store for us, we'll see. And what about EG? They were eager to sign Elige as well as acquire Zorte and Jax by all means. And you won't believe it, but Evil Geniuses messed up on all fronts again. They didn't lure Elige, even though he seemed to be planning to join them, and they also encountered issues with Zorte. According to insiders, the deal dropped, and Overdrive reports that it was EG's fault. Their agency let them down. It's unclear what exactly happened, but it seems that Zorte had already mentally joined EG, and his reaction to this news speaks volumes. And just when they could couldn't sign two players at once, Jax also decided to decline them, as reported by Dust2. They probably promised him that they would get a top lineup like Electronic, Zorte, Elige, but for now it's a complete failure. So EG's lineup remains the same, and it's uncertain whether anything will change at all. And finally, in terms of official news, K23 underwent complete disband, while Apex renewed their contract with their captain, Kixon. Indeed, there were rumors circulating that he will leave the team. 
they even posted a farewell message, but quickly deleted it and eventually reassured the fans. Well, we continue to keep track of rumors and interviews. For example, it turns out that Dexter really didn't know about his departure from OG. It was my first experience working in an international lineup. It was amazing. I didn't know until the last moment that I would be removed from the team. This is for all those idiots spamming my telegram message. It's interesting that we still have so many free agents available, while most of the major organizations have already completed their roster shuffles, except for, of course, Navi. People noticed that I am received headphones from a sponsor, and it seems that Game Religion doesn't have a deal with the sponsor, but Navi does. Plus, he recently stated that he's a big fan of Electronic. He's like his fanboy. So it seems like the transfer is close, and you know what's even more interesting? On Instagram, Perfecto liked a photo of the presumed new Navi lineup from a fan page. He is quite a baiter. But what will happen next to him and Electronic if the transfer of Alexi B, I am and JL happens? It's quite simple. Overdrive wrote on his Twitter that Cloud9 is planning to completely rebuild their roster and we will be, to put it mildly, surprised. Well, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Will it be the biggest announcement of the summer? In addition, Overdrive reminded us that there's Bad Boom, which has been very active lately. По поводу шафлов не забывайте, что есть еще Bad Boom, где тренер Литл, и они интересуются всеми освободившимися, даже топ-звездами. Currently, there is a huge number of players without teams, especially in the CIS region, including Dexter, Zorte, Jerry, Siren, Kron, and possibly even Perfecto and Electronic on the horizon. So let's just wait for the news, as new teams in the world of CS are always exciting. It seems like there were so many official roster changes yesterday, more than even before in history. All of this happened in just one day, or rather in one evening. I believe we will meet again tomorrow, because something is happening every day. Friends, subscribe to the channel because there's still a lot of interesting stuff ahead and we will discuss it all here. See you soon!